In this video, you're going to learn how to create a Snowflake notebook that will allow you to report on failed or long running scheduled queries. And we're going to do that using Streamlit. And without further ado, we're starting right now. So we're going to implement a four step process in order to perform the report on failed or long running scheduled queries. And so this will include retrieving the data using SQL query. And then we're going to convert that into a data frame, pandas data frame. Then we're going to create an interactive slider widget and also to prepare the data. And finally, we're going to create a heat map for visualizing the scheduled query execution. So you want to fire up your notebook. This particular notebook will be available in the GitHub repo. Links to it will be in the video description. So in the first step, you want to retrieve the data. And so you're going to run this SQL query, which will allow you to retrieve the execution history for scheduled queries. And it will also tell us the status of the query, whether it was able to run successfully or not, and also timing metric and also the, as mentioned already, the execution status. So actually this would be There you go. And so we're going to obtain all of the information from the Snowflake account usage task history table. And so let's go ahead and run the SQL query here. All right. So it gives us this particular table. So we have already specified here in the query, we're going to get the name, the database name, query ID, query text, schema name, the scheduled time, the query start time, and also the completed time. And then from the differences of the time, we're going to compute the execution time in seconds. And then we're going to report on the execution status, whether it failed or not, and the accompanying you know, error code and also the error message that was obtained. All right, and so here you're going to notice that the particular SQL query uh, cell here is called SQL data, and we're going to convert this particular cell into a pandas data frame in the next step here where we're implementing the Python cell and notice that the above here is the SQL cell. So it is called SQL data and we're going to refer to it as kind of like a variable and then we're appending the two pandas command. And then we're going to run it. So notice that the previous table that you saw was from a prior run of the notebook. Now we have already run this and then the data frame is in pandas format. So the next step here is we're going to create an interactive slider widget with Streamlit. And so let's have a look. Let's run it. So the slider widget will allow us to select the number of days for us to analyze the data. And then that would then trigger the filtering of the underlying data frame. So if we select the 30 days, it will perform analysis for 30 days. And so based on the number selection here, it will perform the data filtering and then it will display the message here that we're going to anal analyze the data for 30 days. So if you were to adjust it to, let's say 50 days, it's going to update the information here. All right. And so the fun part is step four, where we're going to create a heat map for visualizing the scheduled query execution. So here we're also, in addition, we're going to create a summary statistics table in addition to the heat map. And then we're going to gain some additional insights on the task name and uh, three states, whether it had succeeded, failed, or the task was skipped. All right. And so here you're going to see that we're creating a heat map. We're using Altair to do so. And then we're going to display the subheader heading, task execution frequency by state number of days here. 
So this is optional. You want to use it or not. If not, then you could comment it out as well. So I, I just leave it here just in case. And so you're going to see that this is a multi-panel plot where we have the three states, the succeeded, skipped, and also the failed as a heat map. So you could think of it as kind of like three heat maps stacked on top of one another. And so failed is the first one, skip is the second one, succeeded is the last one. So the lighter the color, the higher the frequency count for the number of execution at a particular time of the day. So you're going to see that this task was running at all times um, and many of which has failed. Whereas some tasks in the uh, succeeded are running at all times while others are running at specific time intervals. Okay, so it's pretty helpful to monitor the general usage and also you get to see like at what time it was run and also like when it failed. And the accompanying uh, data here, all of this is summarized in a single table uh, called summary statistics. And we're just essentially using the st.data frame to show it. Um, you could also add like progress bar instead of the numerical value that you see here by using the column config um, option of the st.data frame uh, from the Streamlit library. And that's about it, right? So pretty simple for you to spin up this very interactive tool inside the Snowflake notebook that will allow you to analyze failed or long running scheduled queries. So let me know in the comment section down below if you found this helpful. Drop a cloud emoji if you reach this far. And as always, happy coding.